In this video I'm going to show a new tool that I have been working on and which you can download for free. So the basic idea of the tool is for view to, uh, to have ability to rename geometry groups very easily. So I have a, I just set up two geometries, a box and a, a rubber toy and assign some groups on it. I, di I, did I didn't name them, I just quickly assigned some of the uh, front, back, the body, the fins, and body lines, something like that. So, and if I want to rename these groups, I created a custom UI. So let's open it up. Once you have installed the tool, you can go to the new paint tabs and open up in, it should be under the sub-menu of mass uh, paint tabs. So this is our custom UI. Uh, so. What you want to make sure for it to work, uh, for it to work, is to make sure that you have selected one uh, one geometry group, uh, one geometry node. Uh, make sure that the uh, viewport is on selection, so that you can select some of the, uh, whatever you want, like that. And for the best results, you should also make sure that you are in a viewport. You are selecting the the group that you want to actually change. Uh, geometry groups too for the best results because it's it's a little buggy i'm not sure about what the hoodin is maybe it's a bug but for the best results make sure that you have a selection this selection type is the same as the group that you want to rename so in here i have a i have edge group so let's make sure i'm selecting edges inside the custom UI let's say we want to make the edges the group types and I want to now press the generate entries so what we have done is we have generated some of the entries and you can see Houdini has taken the screenshots of these groups and put it as put them inside here and it also has given our names so uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory so group one I seven say say I want to I want to rename it as sides, top and bottom. And that's it. So these are my names and, and then I just press rename. And you can see it's going to automatically don't put automatically put down a group renamer. And you can see it has put the old names and has renamed uh, new names on it. So uh, let's go to the groups. Which one is it? This one. Each groups you can see. We have a so we have a top a side and top a bottom side. So it has renamed the groups. So and let's do this also with the uh, with the uh, polygons. So again, make sure it's selection and it's polygons. Change it to the primitives and create entries and you can see we have created screenshots of these and we can name let's say fins front uh, back and body and then just press rename and it has given us uh, the rename so that's the part of it and for your knowledge it's going to basically create a camera node outside of the sub network and this camera is basically the what's taking the screenshots so also there's a couple of uh, things you can do is also use a wireframe ghost which i found probably is the best way for you to create these screenshots but you can also use the keep the viewport shading mode so obviously for some of the in geometry it might not also work the best because some of the groups maybe are behind the geometry and you can capture it but for something like a individual object that has the groups like i could imagine something like a bolt or something you want to actually see the whole object and it's not abstracted the groups are not abstracting with each other you can keep the viewport shading mode so let's try, try it out with the uh, keeping the viewport shading mode so I'm going to side here 
and let's create our edge groups as you can see it basically has created these and it also should work with the points and vertex last time i checked so that's that also for the query uh, i made uh, this uh, current node so that you know which these are generated for the node so that you don't get lost and and that's and that's basically it for the tool uh, yeah so for the best way for you to get it is just go to the link below which is the github uh, let me open it up this is the github which I just uploaded with this tool and just download the download the zip and put it in your documents uh, Houdini 19.5 so put the folder massive parm utilities inside a document folder Houdini 19.5 and the packages inside it there's going to be a JSON file uh, in this JSON file which is very standard which is basically pointing to this directory so you can keep actually the JSON file inside here just copy it copy the JSON file into the packages and that should be it for you to for it to work uh, just make sure that the name of the folder is the same as with in the JSON file so so basically then this folder make sure that it's the same as this that it points to this folder and that's it and I'm going to update it so I have basically set up the, so that I can easily update what I, whatever I'm working on so that you can I'm just going to post it that I have I will update some tool just go inside here then you can just download it and just replace the replace the folder and not to replace the JSON file uh, because it's basically the same always so I'm going to make it maybe a little bit prettier inside here for the next time but that's it for now and I'm going to make more videos I'm not sure about the tutorials though I but maybe maybe I'm kind of uh, want to make more tools and of course I really want to uh, get some feedback from you guys so write me an email tell me about the tool ideas you want to see and there's probably a good chance that I can probably add this in the future so yeah go ahead and test out and for any bugs because I can't really test everything with my limited knowledge so if there's any bugs or something like that just write me an email and sure we can uh, figure something out so so that's it yeah just gonna try it out again Oh, that's I need to set up as a prim. Okay, so that's it. Okay, see you next time.